Well, we forgot to film a closer yesterday for, or for this video that you're watching right now for the striper fishing thing. But uh, Katie caught her first ever big giant striper. What did you think about that? It was really cool. You know what else? Are you I'm, strong? Oh, yeah. She still doesn't <laughs> like being on camera, but I'm trying. <laughs> she, uh, she did great. Did great. It pulled real hard. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for this video coming up where we're bank fishing for catfish and stripers with cut bait. So, yeah, like and subscribe to see me and Katie coming out here doing this cool stuff. We'll see you. So me and Katie are pulled up here on a bank spot because it's too daggone windy to fish anywhere else on the main lakes. And uh, I'm too mentally tired from yesterday pulling boards with all them crazy boats for striper to uh, fight the wind. So we back in the creek, tied up to the bank. And uh, we're throwing cut bait back in this creek. We could catch a flathead, a blue, a channel cat, or a striper in here. Don't know. But it's fall time, which is generally prime time to be back in these creeks. There's bait back in here. The water temp is cash money. And we got fresh bait that Katie and I caught. And uh, we're just going to chunk it out and see what happens. There's a little channel coming in right here and then it opens up back in this bay to a feeding bay. We're just trying to pick up some active fish that are coming off that main channel and coming back in here to feed before this giant front comes in tonight. It's gonna be 80 degrees today and it's dropping to a high tomorrow is like 65. So I'm hoping we have a shallow water activity period and these fish come back in here and feed and we're just going to try to intercept them in the channel as they come in and then back in the bay and we're going to throw like 10 rods out and see what happens we had everything rigged up for dragon but like we got out there to go catch bait and it was white capping everywhere and i was like no thank you so we're cutting all the dragon rigs off and just throwing out cut bait I don't feel like banging in my head against the wall today. I want a big chill. It's a Sunday. It's big chilling time. And we're just going to see if a pig wants to come and play. And we're throwing a lot of big baits. A lot of big baits. Got some new Mag Catters hooks here. Got a couple, three new heavy Hellcat rods we're going to test out. I've only had the medium and the medium have heavy. Now we got some heavies to try. And we're going to... Got some fresh hooks on everything. I mean, we're ready to hook into something. Even a channel cat will be fine because we're just chilling today from the bank. Brought us some lawn chairs. We're going to kick back and relax and enjoy this beautiful fall weather here in East Tennessee. It's unseasonably warm. Like, I'm excited for it to be back down in the 60s. But, uh, it do be pretty out here. So, we've got to rig up more rods now because I'm out of rods to throw. And we'll be back with you. We are slowly getting all our rods rigged. Let's see how, how good this is heavy big cat fever hellcat rod will cast it's a nice fresh chunk of skipper jack and we got this is a mag catter 10 double heavy hook the silver ones and i've got some of the standard ones too i like the these super heavy ones because unlike other really heavy hooks they're usually not sharp these are sharp as crap and they don't dull very easily the hooks don't the tips don't bend out very easily and uh, you ain't bending that hook and it's not breaking good luck so let's see how far i can get this thing to throw i'm gonna launch it Ooh, we got a little bump on one of the rods all right here we go I mean, that flew. That flew. All right. Heck yeah. 
we're gonna get the rest of these rods out and then we'll be back with y'all we're gonna throw us a little channel cat rig out three ounces of weight little piece of bait one circle hook see if we can't catch a channel cat sometimes catching channels is fun and we're throwing it shallow very shallow about eight ten feet over there something like that put her in the rod holder now we got a spread we got 10 rods out Bloop. covering everything we're gonna put our chairs up clean the boat up and we're gonna be fishing Go oh, Chaz, madam. Thank you. We got some skippy poles. We might throw for skippies here in a few. I saw a couple bust them. He's come over cheating and laying down. <laughs> that looks like a good skipjack rod holder. <laughs> Now we just need one of those to fold. With anything from a channel cat to a 50 pound strike. Who knows? And we have a net. I brought the net. This time, we're gonna have it ready and waiting right there. Hopefully I don't forget it. <laughs> exactly what I was about to say. Well, we got the Raj chilling. We're gonna go look at the quarry back here. And I'm wearing bibs and it's 80 degrees. I regret it, but I have lots of pockets and a tree fill. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's like bass and stuff in here. They're really small though. There's so many of them. And there's corp, carp, and lots and lots of bluegill. It always has a really cool watercolor though. It's like a fluorescent, no, I don't know, it's just really bright, wild. Super cool. Ryan and I have brought kayaks back in here and caught bass. It's like a giant pond. You can like walk down here too. Be a cool spot to camp out. Somebody died jumping off of that at one point. Somebody died jumping off that tall bar at one point. What? Yeah. But I don't think that, that was a good idea. East Tennessee people. <laughs> Rude. Hey, I'm one of them, I can say that. I'm crazy, but I ain't that crazy. Hey, if you're gonna come out here and camp, like anywhere in the wild, don't do this. You're a piece of crap. I've gone in the woods. It looks like something in the Pacific, like Northwest out here. Northeast, yeah, Northeast, cause you got all these like pine trees and stuff. Pretty cool. It's a cool lake. Back to the boat. No bites yet, it looks like. All the line's still tight. Katie's a smart one and brought snacks. I hardly ever do it. Or water. I forgot water. I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not sharing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if a rod goes down, just run down there and grab it and I'm going to film it. <laughs> Sound good? Sure. Sound good. I have to do all the work? Yep. Oh, I'm getting bit right there. Look, look, look. look. Right That's now. acting like a flathead. You may want to get and walk slowly he's carrying it off to the right i'm gonna go with you yeah let's go ahead and get on the boat be slow be slow okay so remember how we do a reel down no <laughs> so put your hand up above the reel on the grip with your left hand okay and now i want you to start slow cranking keep going keep going Keep going. Go fast. Go fast. Keep going. Keep going. Go, go. Fast, 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 fast. 
I think you got him. Okay, pull it up out of there, baby. You got one. Oh, oh. She got one, guys. Okay, go up over the top of this one rod. Huh? Go up over the top of that rod. Oh, he's under it. Never mind. Yeah. Go, go the other way. Is he still on it? You make me lose this fish. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Sorry, babe. <laughs> she takes her fishing seriously, y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, keep on reeling, babe. I bet that's a flatty. It do be a flathead, babe. Heck yeah. We got us a flathead to start out. I knew that was a flathead bite. That one kind of was acting like it was getting bit too. All right, flathead on the board, babe. Um, go ahead and walk him up underneath this. Yep. All right. That's a good sign. We got a smaller guy getting active. We may get us a bigger one. Uh, yeah, we'll take him over to the bank here and land him. Oh. Yeah. I think I can probably just grab him with my hands. Yeah, oh yeah. She got her a flathead. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Better not lose her fish, Mark. <laughs> oh, he ain't going nowhere. That's a nice little flatty. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice, babe. Very nice. Thank you. We got him unhooked there. Fish number one of the bank fishing shenanigans after we went on our quarry adventure and he literally bit right on time. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Well, we'll get you a picture with them and we'll release them and there we go. Okay. A surefire way to catch fish is to start eating a snack. <laughs> and she was one, one, one bite in the cracker. Here's your fish. What do I do? Grab it? How do I? What do I tell me? Uh, remember how you grab the big one? Yeah, just do it with one hand though. There you go. I can't get, I can't get it. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, hold them up sideways. You know how we take the pictures of them? All right. No. And then, oh, okay, that looks, well, that looks cool. That looks cool. <laughs> That's a nice looking fish, babe. Look at him. That's a good looking flathead. All right, you ready to release him? Yes. You can just go let him down the water right over here. Okay. Yep. He's probably going to be pretty mad. Wrong way, buddy. <laughs> He's going to swim into the bank. Wrong way, wrong way. Where are you going? Where are you going? There he goes. He figured it out. <laughs> See you later, dude. Very nice, very nice. And I reckon we need another skippy. What do you think? Yep. Need a skippy. He is a one. Let's try this little guy right here. Okay. Oop. The old Komodo caught it. This thing's like five years old. Barely got any paint left on it. <laughs> we'll just lob her on back out there. I think this is one of the ones I threw pretty short. Yeah, I'm not like, I didn't long bomb it. I don't know. I'm gonna long bomb it. I'm feeling long bomb. Is that a scale on the tip? No, I got it off. Okay. We're gonna long bomb it. That looks good. That's like right in the middle of the creek channel. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. Hopefully that bodes well for another couple other flatties. Ready to catch another one? I literally said, you ready to catch another one? That one got bit. That's a double bait. Looks like a dink fish though. We gotta trick these fish into biting somehow. We gotta break out the little Debbie. It's a sure way to get a bite. Not a fudge round this time, but an oatmeal cream pie and a double decker at that. Right here, babe. You see that one? Mm -hmm. That's looking like a flathead. Mm -hmm. Let's walk up slow to it. You put it down, tack on it. I don't know. 
can't really tell from this angle. You trying to bite on it? Hmm. Well, he dropped it. Kay's like, you gotta let me know before you put the camera going. <laughs> that ain't how it works. Well, it's gotten real slow and we've lost her to this leap. Maybe not. Just first my eyes. Mm-hmm. We're just getting dink bit to death. We gotta head out in a few. But she caught her a nice little flathead and it's been an enjoy, enjoy, I don't even know words. It's been an enjoyable evening out here. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the weather cools buck off because 80 degrees in October is not ideal. Dink, 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 dink. Where can he put it down? I think he got you a fish hooked up, babe. Go reel down on him. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, when you get up there, just reel real quick. Yep. Oh, he came off. Dang it. Just reel it in. It's okay. There's a little channel cat. Oh well. 